Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the very last part of the tutorial series where we will be dis not discussing, but we'll be putting everything in one single video. Well, not one single video. Actually, yes, one single video. So it's going to be all in one, uh, meaning all the procedures will be done um, in my pace without me explaining anything. I'm just going to do it. You're just going to, if you want, watch me. And uh, hopefully it makes everything a bit clearer on what I'm doing when. Um, so again, the parts, the tutorial parts were all basically explaining what I was doing and now I'm actually doing it and maybe you'll see me, uh, you'll, you'll have a better understanding hopefully of what I'm actually doing. So today's flight will take us from uh, Toronto to Montreal. Uh, it is a, approximately a 54 minute flight um, from, um, from runway to runway and block time about 15 additional minutes. So let's get right to it. Also try um, and integrate GSX into this. I've never tried GSX with this uh, with this aircraft so if it fails miserably you'll, you'll, you'll probably know. Alright let's get going. Uh, you'll still hear me talk but um, I won't be... yeah. Alright. Hey Captain, how are you today? Speaker breakers are checked, gears down, uh, radars off, batteries will go ahead and turn on, that's all checked, main bus tie is set to tie, engine bypass go and open up, position lights on, flight deck displays are on, they're all powering up, we'll go ahead and turn on everything else. Uh, standby and PTU switches are off. Uh, we will keep the APU off today and additional power is available. Turn the batteries back off. And we'll initialize the FMS safety equipment. It's all checked. Everything looks good. Okay, it's all, all good. Bank angle. I'm out for the walk around. Okay, landing gear ground extension is closed. One, two, three oxygen uh, tapes, green oxygen tapes checked. Okay, that looks good, looks good, looks good. Open up our side vents. some weather information. It's 
So we've got some light rain gusts as well, 2968. set. Overhead scan. Everything looks normal here. Everything looks normal here. All good to go. That's fine. AP fire test. Good here. That is set. Our current elevation is uh, 569. That's good. No smoking on. Everything else looks good. Reset our decision height to NDA. Everything looks good here. We'll set nav source on both sides. And yaw damper is on. This looks good. We're going to use flaps 35 in taste. Hi guys, do you mind if we start boarding now? Go ahead. Yes. Thanks. I'll be back with the load sheet later. Looks good here. No lights. This is good. We'll do an auto feather test. Everything is set correctly. Okay. Do a PA test. That works. Okay, up trim is indicated. That's good, that works as well. We're gonna set our comms for departure. We'll do it with a, a uh, elevator trim test. Engages. Turn it back on and it works again. Okay. So that works. Well in progress. And passed. And disengage it. Our initial climb today is going to be 5,000. We'll go ahead and set 5,000 in because we already know it. Let's, uh, we'll do that. Now I'll sell. Normally it's not something you would do immediately, but I went ahead and d done it anyways. 5,000. Uh, initial heading will be uh, 057.
Okay, so we can expect departure there. There we go. Okay, Kodal, dead key. Okay. And do we need any VORs? It does not look like we need any VORs, so we're going to approach from a seven right, a six right, sorry. What does it want from us now? Afpax. Course for the return. Okay, so don't do refueling on this airplane. It does not work properly. Um, course is also zero five seven. Frequencies. The well, Toronto frequency is one one two decimal one five, and our ILS frequency is one 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 nine five. Okay, and I'll say. Okay, I'm back from the walk around. Everything looks good. Uh, we probably will need anti ice uh, level two, so I'm going to keep them open. And we're now going to do it the. Deal with the flight plan. Enter that in. Accept. Departure. Play runway zero six left. Play the um. That key four. Condition. Runway zero six left. Flight plan. Sorry. Zero. Yeah. Zero six left. From that key, we'll take the airway. Cool. Oh, never mind, we will not take the airway. What does our flight plan say? We're going to dead key from dead key. Huh. Like transition and does not want to give us a transition. And perhaps it's bugged, but we'll need to. So flight plan um, FMC is a bit bugged on that. We'll go ahead and uh, fix that. And I'm going to sun in. Yeah. Sun and we're going to Miglo. Slow. Pull now up. we're doing the arrival into terrain. Terrain. Montreal. Pull up. Runway will be zero six. Uh, right. By the Habs. Miglo. ILS. Flight plan. Okay, there we go. Estimated time of departure in UTC is 2037. Sorry, 35. Um, uh, clear, enter, okay. And our winds. Sun and Fifty 
222 at 47. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're getting some baggage now. So now we would get IT, uh, IFR clearance. Uh, we're not online or doing any ATC, so uh, we'll skip for now. And we'll just continue setting up our, uh, our weather, our stuff here. So I'm going to set weather on this side. I already set airport as my data. Um, VR1 and VR2. Though we don't need VR2, we can just select uh, off. Um, just in case we do need VR2, I'm going to actually turn it on. It's actually, it's actually a good idea to keep it on. Um, I'll just double check our heading, our uh, nav source, altitude, everything looks good. So let's take a, ch check, uh, take a look at our chart here. Um, so we are departing runway heading 057. At 1000 feet we can expect to turn right to Alcott. And we'll vector ourselves to Alcott and then from Al cut go to Kodal Detki. Um, from Detki we'll go to um, Sanan and from Sanan to Miglo. Sanan aircraft flight plan 250 or above advised ATC if unable to cross Sanan at or above 250. We're not doing 250 today we're doing 230 so we'll definitely not uh, have to worry about that. I will check anything else 06 left uh, otherwise climb heading 057 to 1000 continue climb 057 or as a sign expect radar vectors to outcut or as a sign, then proceed via depicted route. That is what we can expect. A radar uh, is required. Caution. Departure simultaneous parallel departures. Safe altitude within 100 nautical miles. Jet aircraft only. Four US GNS equipped aircraft. Selectable CDI must be set to 100. Okay. Refer to 10.4 abatement procedures for additional requirements. We're good there. Um, no need to worry. And for the uh, in case of a uh, uh, in case of a engine failure. Uh, we'll have to return to the airfield. Um, we'll get we'll contact ETC, get radar vectors, and we'll then probably get vectored to runway zero seven. Uh, sorry, zero six right, uh, heading of zero five seven, which is our course. We already set all that information up. We just need to activate the ILS in case we need to return. For our taxi, uh, we can expect to uh, t uh, push back to the left. Taxi here down to Delta Romeo. Delta. Okay, is clear. Yeah, uh, Delta Romeo Delta, cross runway 33 right and continue via Delta to runway to holding point as row 06 left. We will probably have to hold here um, because of Cat 3 hold um, since Cat 3 might be used. Although Cat 2 is only required, we'll actually hold here and then we'll get going. Okay, so we should close the exit. Let's do that. Um, we do that by going to data, services, exits. And then closing the aft packs. Go and welcome to PA. Folks on the flight deck, this is your captain. Welcome on board. I'd like to remind you to please keep your seatbelts fastened. Uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. We'll have you on your way shortly. Alright, so we're just about to get our load sheet here. Um, we'll get our, and we'll prepare ourselves for it. We will not need de-icing today, I've already mentioned this. Um, so, we should be good to go on that.
went in and said our. Uh, Hi guys, here's yeah. the load sheet for you. Thanks. Have a safe flight. All right, so we got our load sheet. Go ahead and put our weights in here. So zero fuel weight. Um, let's just take it from here exactly. Zero fuel weight is twenty-seven. Sorry, twenty-five, seven, thirty-nine. Enter. Our alternate fuel is one forty. Our hold fuel is four four five one. Enter zero. Enter fuel on board. Uh, two two five two five zero. Enter. Gives us a gross rate of twenty seven nine eighty nine. Is about checked, about right. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and cross fill this. We'll go back to flight plan. Let's get our uh, performance values. At a takeoff weight of about 27.8. Um, Laps 5 today. You can expect V1. 130. I should do 126. No, 127. 127. One two seven and one three zero. And then uh, for refry one forty two. Do one forty, so one forty, and then one fifty. That's set. Okay, hey, minimum decision altitude is also set. Oh, that is set. We're not going to set his side. That's his responsibility, and it's not that important. As long as we have it, since we're the pilot flying, that's all good to go. 24 hour system check checklist. Engine fire detection. Test. APU fire detection. Test. Baggage smoke warning aft and forward. Test. Stall warning test 1 and 2. Test. ADC 1 and 2. Test. Auto feather. Test. Chipless TCAS. Test. PA system. Test. Trims. Test. 24 hour system checks complete. Alright. We're ready for the before uh, star checklist. Um, so just give me a second here. Before star checklist. Stand by. Oh, hatch is closed. Circuit brakes are checked. Hydraulic number three. Check that the pressure increases. Park brake is set to park in a minimum of 500 psi. That's fine. Bridge and aiding checks flow. That's checked. Nozzle steering is off. Emergency brake pressure is checked. Disc fuel off. And we're good to go. Complete. Complete. Gear pins. Stowed. Pre flight checks. Complete. Complete. External power APU voltage. On. Checked 27 volts. Circuit breakers. Checked. Checked. Escape hatch. Closed. Nose wheel steering. Off. Flight guidance control panel. Set. Fuel quantity. Two, two, five, two kilograms on board. Two, two, five, zero kilograms required. Hydraulic number three pressure. Checked. 3,000 PSI. Emergency brake pressure. Park. Checked. Power levers. Disc. Condition levers. Fuel off. Emergency light switch. Arm. Fasten belt switch. On. On. Departure briefing. Complete. Complete. Before we start, checklist complete. Doors are closed, that's fine. We're good for the engine start. Um, any minute now we'll get the cabin is ready. Doors are closed. Um...
So once we get the cabin ready signal, we'll contact ATC for a push and start uh, clearance. All right, guys. Everyone's seated. We're all buttoned up and ready to go in the back. Thanks. If you need anything, just let me know. All right. So we now request, you know, set this to VHF one. Request tax uh, push and start. Go back to interphone. Now set our ultimate ground crew X to do our thing. Okay, so doors and fueling lights are out. Battery switch is back to on. Anti collision light red. Go ahead, cockpit. Engine fleet is off, engines are clear. Ground to flight tech. Go ahead. Communication check, please, and confirm that the brakes are set. Communications are okay, and the brakes are set. Thanks. Engine start checklist. Battery master main auxiliary standby. On. Doors fueling lights. Closed and out. Any collision light. Red. AP bleed. Off. Go ahead, Engine. flight tech. Clear on two. Clear on two. Engine start checklist complete. So, let's start engine two. Starting two. Go ahead, flight tech. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please disconnect the GPU. Okay, let's go ahead and start pushback. Roger, facing southeast. Release brakes. Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Clear behind, and you can start your engines at your discretion. Start one for me, please. Starting one. Pushback complete. Set parking brakes, please. Ignore that little U UGCX bug. Brakes are set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. You can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks, so long, have a good flight. After start checklist. Stand by.
just did a test there. External power, APU. Verify that the flaps are extended. Better travel. External power, APU. Bus tie. Off. Ice protection. Checked level two. Checked level two. Rudder travel? We'll travel. Nose wheel steering. On. Auto feather. Auto feather select. Engine rating. In top set checked. Batteries. On. Checked. Flaps. Five set indicating. Five set and indicating. Ox standby PTU pumps. On. On. Hydraulic pressure quantity. Checked. Checked. Hydraulic number three in elevator. Checked. Caution warning lights. Checked. Flight instruments radios. Checked. Checked. Altimeters. Set one zero zero four cross check. Set cross check. That check. After start checklist complete. All right. After start checklist complete, we now would request ATC cl clearance to taxi, which we've received. So we'll turn on the taxi lights, or at least the brakes. Though we will set the thrust first. Now we can release the brakes, um, and we'll taxi just fairly slowly. We'll set this back to nav. Actually, the first officer would do that. And I'll set this to weather. on the left and we are clear on the right okay before takeoff checklist to the line so our trims are set Flight for attempts, takeoff. please be seated for departure. Good morning test, checked, set this to flight. Our FMS fuel is checked. We've also changed our, uh, our, our uh, anti-icing level to level uh, 1. We don't, we no longer require level 2. Uh, outside of temperature is quite high now. FA notification received. Takeoff briefing complete. Cabin PA complete. Condition levers. Max. Max. Trims. Three set. Three set. Takeoff warning test. Tested. Light controls check free. Light taxi. Light. Radar terrain. Radar on both sides. Transponder TCAS on alt. Before takeoff checklist complete to the line. Request ta uh, takeoff clearance once we get the clearance. Ice light comes off. Below the line. Um, are you sure? Below the line. Bleeds men off. External lights on. Runway. Zero six left. Heading zero five three. Before takeoff checklist complete. Check power. Power checked. Eighty knots. Checked. V1, rotate.
Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Select heading. Select heading. Heading select. Check. Select heading. Acceleration altitude. Flaps zero, IAS one eight five, climb check listed to the line. Autopilot on. Autopilot's on. Set heading select. Climb checklist completed to the line. Cancel last command. Check. Set heading select. Set cancel last command. Cancel last command. Check. Set flight level 230. Alt cell. Looks like we're picking up some ice. Like nav. Nav selected. Flight level two three zero set. Check. L nav. L nav. Check. Reload the line. Climb checklist complete. Cruise power. Cruise power set. Alright, checking the charts. Does we have water optimum cruise speed to be our torque for the cruise? So, what is our weight currently? Uh, 27,700. Ice deviation close to zero. Um, and for our intermediate, we're gonna do two, two zero. So 
55. Three three seven knots. So we'll put in one fifty. Is in 139 nautical miles. We'll reset the MDA. And we'll see you um, once we get to planning our descent. Alright, so we're back and uh, yep, just planning for the uh, descent now. So let's get to it. Elevation in uh, Montreal is 118 feet. We'll set that in here. Approximately there. Uh, 200, which is 1015. Keep that in mind. Performance. UWS landing, so actually, shoot, we should have stayed on the uh, message. So, light rain, um, that already pretty much tells me about flaps 35. Um, overcast, 7, view 6,000, 10 statue miles. Gusting, although gusting is actually best for flaps 15. So, we'll take flaps 15. Um, yeah, we'll take flaps 15 for, for best, better recovery, and uh, that should be fine. Okay. We'll set the briefing in here. It'll be a category one. It'll be by the star. Runways are wet. NTIS level uh, will not be required. Flash 15 leads on the PU, yes. No. Yes, yes, yes. And I understand. Landing our V speeds, our speeds. Let me check those really quick. Uh, we're expected to land with 27,100, so 27,000 approximately. So with flaps 15, that is a uh, VRF of 124, 152, 124, 152. That's it. You ready for the approach brief? Okay. Okay, we'll be arriving by the A2... Alright, uh, approach brief complete. Cross full FMS. Check. Alright, uh, now we're gonna do... Um, set our eyeless frequencies and stuff. So, 110.5. I'm gonna go and turn on the dome light for that. Now, 
decision altitude for category one, minimum, minimum decision altitude, which will be 440. Okay. Actually, 355, but 360 will do. 60, that's set. We can plan to descend to 16,000 feet, so we'll set altitude 16,000. Alt cell. Do a PA announcement. Yeah, folks, on the flight deck, the captain once again to uh, inform me that uh, we were a few minutes at. Uh Alright, so we're reaching top of the descent here, going to arm V. Yes. Vertical speed. Check. transition altitude of 18,000 feet. This is where things are a bit different when we're flying in the U.S. Um, you'll notice in a second. So we're going to set our transition altitude now, which was uh, 29999, which is translated to 1015. That is set, and we would now do the descent checklist to the line. Descent checklist to the line. Altimeters. 2999 set cross check. 1015. Set and cross-checked. Fuel balance. Check. Pressurization. Set. Cabin PA. Uh, standby. I'll be off one. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for arrival. Thank you. Cabin PA complete. Fasten belt switch. On. Approach and landing brief. Complete. Complete. Descent checklist completed to the line. So we're just about to uh, reach 16,000 feet. Uh, once we do so, um, we will plan for the next waypoint, which for us will be at 9,000 feet, which is um, Hobbs. Hobbs. We'll do three. Thousand enter. to go. Alt cell. Enter. 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 We'll keep it at 18,000. Looks like we're picking up some ice. Okay, ice is being depicted, so we'll turn on anti-ice. Alt star. Check. Increasing my speed to two two zero knots. And we'll do seventeen hundred. Set nine thousand. Vertical sorry, vertical speed. So we're 
approaching 10,000 feet, so we'll call below the line. Below the line. Jeep was landing flap. Selected 15 degrees. Fuel transfer. Off. Hydraulic pressure quantity. Check. Caution warning lights. Check. Approach flare lights. On. Rev speed switch. Bugs. Offset. Off. Set. FA notification. Complete. Descent checklist complete. And our ILS frequencies are set. Checked courses are also set. Good to go. Check. Thousand to go. Alt sell. Flaps 5. Flight slow. Check. You're down. Flaps 15, landing checklist. Flaps 15, landing gear. Down 3 green. Down 3 green, condition levers. Max. Max. Ox, standby PTU pumps, on. Bleeds, on, min. FA notification. Complete. Flaps. 15 set indicating. Plan 15, set 15. Set and checked. Indicating 10, plan 10. Before landing checklist complete. But because we're just, just so you guys know, understand, uh, This will require anti-icing, and we're using ref speeds, uh, re inc ref speed increase. Um, we have our speed set a bit higher, although we will now set it off. So, now for landing, it can be kept on. And so we're maintaining uh, VRAF plus 20 for that. 142 approximately. We were clear to land. Dice light on. Thousand above. I have control. I have control. Check. One thousand. Landing. Check.
tundra. One hundred above. Wide slow. Minimums. Wide slow. Continue. Check. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. After landing checklist complete. Engine number one, start feather. Feathering number one. Take this gate right here. Um, not sure where a dash eight would park normally, so we're just gonna take what we got here. Set windshield heat to off. Windshield heat set to off.
Talk about your ground. Go ahead. Please connect the GPU. Roger, connecting the GPU. Captain, the GPU is now connected. Another 30 seconds, full half past. Israel RPM will turn off the beacon light. Parking checklist to the line. Taxi light. Off. Emergency brake. Park. Nose wheel steering. Off. Standby PTU pumps. Off. Power levers. Disc. 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 Condition levers. Fuel off. Transponder. Standby. Fasten belt switch. Off. Bleeds. Off. Oh, min off. Min off. Parking checklist completed to the line. Below the line. External power, APU. External power on, APU off. External power is off, GPU. Detent checked. Condition levers. Fuel off. Lights. Off. Emergency light switch. Off. Standby aux main battery master. Batteries on. Parking checklist complete. Actually, batteries off. Anyways, that's the end of this video. We're now deboarding. I hope you guys enjoyed this flight today. Um, or sorry, this tutorial series. Not this flight, but this tutorial series. I hope this extra f uh, flight also helped you a little bit just to get to know what kind of pace you're expected to do things at and and uh, what you're doing what I'm doing as well and so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial series for the Majestic Q400 overall and FS the crew and if you did please let me know make sure to uh, give me some feedback um, if you guys have anything um, that you would like to see in future FS the crew videos maybe perhaps and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next videos. Until then, have a good, have a good uh, rest of your day, and uh, peace.